everyone, it's the Book Caterpillar, and I'm here today to bring you guys my Christmas time Tis the Seasonathon TBR. Tis the Seasonathon begins on December 3rd and ends on December 9th, and I'm gonna be doing the best I can to participate in all six challenges, but I don't know if I'll be able to because I have papers and finals for my the end of the semester that week and the week after, so I might be kind of really busy. <laughs> But I'm going to do my best, and if I don't finish the books, I'll probably fit them in for the Oh What Fun readathon, which is, I think, December 14th it starts, so it's after it. But anyway, let's just get into my Tis the Season readathon TBR. The first challenge is to read a book that has red or green on the cover, and I'm going with uh, Skipping Christmas by John Grisham. Obviously, this has red on the cover. Uh, I read this book when I was a sophomore in high school, and I am now a freshman in college, and I don't remember anything about this book at all. I love Christmas with the Cranks. It's probably, like, in the top three of my favorite Christmas movies, which actually is kind of an unpopular opinion. I feel like a lot of people don't like that movie, but anyway, this book was, uh, inspired the movie, so I kind of want to read it again. I don't remember if I, I, I liked it. I know that. I gave it five stars. That's all I know. So I kind of want to compare them again and remember because I don't. <laughs> the second challenge is to read a book while listening to Christmas music. And for this, I'm going with Winter Spell by Claire Legrand. Uh, this is a retelling of The Nutcracker. And I've heard that it's not very good. I don't know if I'll like it or not. So hopefully if it's slow or I don't like it, I'll be, I'll be listening to the Christmas music and it'll distract me or keep me motivated to keep reading so I can keep listening to the music. I love Christmas music. I love Nat King Cole, Amy Grant, Johnny Mathis, like, oh my gosh. Anyway, moving on. Um, so yeah, I guess that's all I have to say about this book. Challenge number three is to read a warm and fuzzy book. And for this, I'm going with Winnie the Pooh Christmas. Uh, this is a book I had since I was a really little youngin. My mom and I used to read it when I was little and I don't remember it at all. Just like skipping Christmas, I don't remember anything. Um, anyway, I really want to read this again and just kind of revisit childhood and see if I remember the stories and just, you know, reminisce. The next challenge is to read a short book, and for this I'm going with A Christmas Carol. I own a copy of it. I don't know where it is, so I'll just put one here. Uh, I read this in 8th grade. I really love the story. I've seen the movies and the plays since. I haven't read the book in a hot minute, and so I would love to read it again because I love Charles Dickens, so... Yeah. The fourth challenge is to read a Christmas book, and for this I am going with The Greatest Gift by Philip Van Doren Stern, and this book is uh, basically the book that inspired It's a Wonderful Life. Um, that's all I know about it. I got this as a Christmas gift from my aunt a few years ago, and that's what she told me about it. So that's all I know. I like It's a Wonderful Life, and I would like to see if this is actually close to it or not, because I don't know anything about it. I don't know anybody that's read it. So, um, yeah, I don't know anything. <laughs> the last challenge is to read five total books, and I definitely don't think I'm going to get to that point, but if I do... Hello, this is Victoria, and I'm editing this video right now, and I realize that I can't do math for nothing. Um, apparently, if you do all five challenges with five different books, you've already read five books. So... I don't need to read anymore because that would be six. Anyway, if I did get to six, I guess this is what I would be reading. I will be reading Little Women by Louisa May Alcott. I know there's some Christmas stuff and that happens in this book, although it's not completely a Christmas book. Um, if I don't read this one, I haven't bought it yet, but I might read Saving a Fish from Drowning by Amy Tan. And I know it has some Christmas elements to it, but it's kind of a, a spooky ghost story, like A Christmas Carol, you know, that kind of like England, 1800s, let's tell Christmas ghost stories instead of warm, fuzzy stories because we're living through a revolution, you know, whatever. So, <laughs> I might do that, I don't know. So I hope you enjoyed my video. If you are participating in the Tis the Seasonathon, just let me know in the comments, tell me what you guys are reading. I'm curious, are we reading the same book? That would be pretty cool. My social media links are down below, my bookstagram and my Goodreads, in case you want to see what books I've read and reading and what my beautiful photography looks like. It's not that beautiful. Anyway, 
I'll see y'all next time. Cheerio! Silver bells, silver bells, it's Christmas time in the city.